New Mexico Democratic Congresswoman Teresa Leger Fernandez. She is a member of the Congressional Progressive and Hispanic Caucuses. It is great to see you, Congresswoman. Thank you for being with me. Let's talk about this issue that Jake was, was uh, talking about. Where do things stand with reconciliation bill and the bipartisan infrastructure bill? Where we are at is that we are working on finalizing the language so that we all know on the House side exactly what's in the bill. And we're building off of what the president talked about when he came and met with Congress. And that is what we are doing. We want to make sure we have all the language in there, that we are addressing issues with our Senate colleagues. There are discussions going on between the House and the Senate. And I think in the Progressive Caucus, in the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, and in the Democratic Caucus, you are feeling a sense of optimism and determination to get things done. The other thing is we are energized by what is in there. There's been a lot of agreement on many key issues, and we are energized to talk about what's in that bill, and I'd love to talk more about that. Well, you and I can talk about that because I'm really interested in your perspective. I, I want to say, so what are the issues that for you are paramount, that are must issues? Well, one, we are addressing uh, legislation that is going to transform the ability of women and of my community, my Latino community and the Native American communities I work with, to be able to uh, create opportunity to rise up. And that starts with early pre-K, early childhood education and uh, child care. That allows uh, women to get back to work and it makes such a benefit for our children. We know that if they're educated when they're young, I was a Head Start baby my Myself. That's where I fell in love with learning. I want everybody to have that opportunity because they do better throughout life. So we are investing in our very youngest in this bill. That's a priority. What we are doing around immigration is not just the immigration reform that we are seeking to help millions, but also we have in the bill the uh, the fact that all children, regardless of your immigration status, are going to be eligible for the child tax credit. All students, regardless of your immigration status, are going to be eligible for federal financial aid. Those are big uh, victories for us that we are very proud of and that we are energized by. And there's another issue that has been unresolved uh, since 2010, which is how about everybody, regardless of their immigration status, have access to health care and health insurance, something that really has been an impossibility for millions in this country. Right. I mean, I think that that is another issue. And that what we are also trying to do in the bill is make sure that we expand the access for all uh, to Medicaid. Uh, and we're doing that by expanding the access through the Affordable Care Act, which I think is also something that it shouldn't matter where you live, whether you are able to get uh, access to health insurance. And that is something we are doing in this bill. And Congressman, your district covers the northern half of New Mexico, home to a significant Native American population. What will the infrastructure and reconciliation bills do to help indigenous peoples in our country? Yes, I'm very excited about that. We fought hard to make sure that we had investments in the bill. It is going to focus on health care. There is significant funds, over a billion dollars, uh, that will help in terms of building Indian health service facilities, or even if those facilities are owned by tribes, because when tribes operate their own health care facilities, it is phenomenal. Uh, there's a lot of money in there for climate resilience, because unfortunately, tribes have been some of the hardest hit in terms of where the crisis, the climate crisis, is having negative impact. So we are going to have money in there for that. Uh, it is a range of, of funding that we have in there, and uh, it, it is going to be good. It's the largest investment we have ever made in Indian country is in the Reconciliation Build Back Better Act. Congresswoman, so let's make a deal, you and I. Let's continue this conversation going forward. Absolutely. As soon as it's a deal. <laughs> Echo.